That's what they said yesterday, and that didn't change today. The family of Roderick Brooks saying he suffered from mental illness and depression, and after watching that body cam footage, they came to the conclusion that he was executed. That's what they told us earlier today. I want to make clear, we have not seen that video just yet. The family of Roderick Brooks came away angry and disappointed. Their frustrations aimed at the Harris County Sheriff's Office and what they say they saw on body cam footage. We want the world to know Roderick was executed. We didn't know the Sheriff's Department would execute people. They're supposed to protect us. Roderick Brooks was just 47. On July 8th, he was shot and killed by Sergeant Garrett Hardin. The Sheriff's Office says Brooks was shot and killed after stealing from a Dollar General on an FM 1960 and pushing the store manager. Brooks' sisters and their attorneys claim to have received two versions of the body cam footage. So you saw a doctored version of the video. You asked for the raw version and you got the raw version, half the raw version? We have a piece of the raw version because as we were watching it, the sheriff said, turn it off. Investigators say shortly after stealing from the Dollar General, Brooks led Sergeant Hardin on a short chase before allegedly getting a hold of his taser. The Brooks family attorney says that is false. Well, there was never a struggle for the taser. Either way, regardless of whatever footage you guys are receiving from this uh, office, you see premeditated murder, clear. Clearly, you see this officer say, I'm going to shoot you, and then he shoots him in the back of the head while he's face down on the ground. And we reached out to the Harris County Sheriff's Office about the family's claims and what they say they saw in the video. We also asked, uh, wanted to ask rather, about the status of the sergeant involved, but have not heard back from them as of a news time today. Meanwhile, the family says funeral services for Brooks will start tonight. We're live in downtown Bill Barajas, KPRC 2 News.